Today's Microsoft Access 2010 tutorial is going to cover the concatenate feature in queries and how to use multiple queries to get to a final answer. We're using the same database as in our prior videos. We've added a few tables for state and address for clients so that we can keep track of the complete address including zip code and state for each one of our clients when we get done it should give us the client name and the entire uh, address for each one of our clients all in the same field. And the way that we do this is make sure that you have your tables created and set up. We're going to create a query and whenever we create our query we'll set clients because we need our client information and let's say we want to select everything to start off with. We select every table that we need. Select client name, select zip code, state, and address. And it will not let you do it because different relationships within, within the database are keeping it from asking questions at a certain time to each table. So the way to solve this would be to only do part of the query first and then connect it to another query. So what we'll do is we'll include the client ID, the client name, the zip code, state, and address. So when we run this we should see all six of our clients, all of their zip codes and the codes that go with state and address. Now notice that individual one does not have a state or address code attached to it. So later on we will make sure that whatever our query comes up with will answer with individual one included in it. So now that we have this we'll save this. And we will open up another query. This time we'll, we will hit the queries tab on show table and go down to query link test 1 or whatever name you saved yours under open that and also open up the state and address table now notice that there are no relationships tying this new query to either one of the tables that we have populated on the screen so what we'll have to do is connect the state with the state ID and the address with the address ID. Make sure that these are IDs. These two are not labeled IDs, but they are number format. That way they tie to the individual ID for each one of these tables. If you connect them to address, it will not give you the correct answer. You'll have a text field and a number field uh, building relationship, which will not work. So now that these are tied together, we can take our client name, our address, state, and zip code and run query. And notice it brings up five clients but not the sixth one. The individual one is not on there because there is not a code here. And also notice that our address and our state have the codes that go along with them but not the actual names. So what we need to do is come down here and replace where we get the state and the address from. We originally got them from the query that we had built. So this time let's get them from the actual table state and address. So if we get state and then we get address, now if we try it, it will include the actual names that go with each one of our clients instead of the code that goes with it. Now that we have this, we can save this table. and open up a third query using this table. And this query is going to be used to combine everything together with the concatenate feature in Microsoft Access. So we want to start off with our address and you're going to use the ampersand that is the uh, 
that is the key to using the concatenate feature. So we're going to start with address. Now, if you notice from the code that we used, it put everything into the new field without any spaces or the proper punctuation. The way to solve this problem is to go back into design view and notice our equation, how it's set up, our expression set up with the ampersand in between each one of these. So say we wanted to add a space, we're going to open quotes, add a space, close quotes, and add another ampersand. And for the comma that needs to be back here, we're going to open quotes, place the comma, close quotes, and add the ampersand. Now open this, and you will notice that it's in proper form. So we'll, we will go ahead and save this. And that is how the concatenate feature in Microsoft Access 2010 works. Um, on our next video, we will use the same three queries to show how the relationships have effects on the queries. And basically, that is the reason why individual one is not populating in this query. So in our next video, we will cover um, the effects of the different um, three relationships in Microsoft Access and how to make sure that all the information is populating into your query. I hope this was helpful and if you would like to see more instructional videos, please subscribe to our channel.